Hi, my dear friends. My name is Ivan. I am Fluid Mechanic Engineer, and this is the first video in a series of tutorials about OpenFOAM. My main goal is to share part of what I know with the community and the general public. In this video, we are going to install OpenFOAM on Windows. There are two ways to install OpenFOAM on Windows. The first option, the classic way, is to use a virtual disk through the virtual box. However, in this first video, we will install OpenFOAM directly on Windows using BlueCFD. Now, in Google, BlueCFD and select the first option, BlueCFD Core Project. Now, in Download and Sections, click and now we will download the last version. In this case, it's BlueCFD Core 2021 Win. 74 setup and this step will take a few minutes after this open the download folder in our computer double click on the file and appear this window is the presentation next next i accept next and here and we can change the folder the location in this case, uh, by default, is in disk C, but I prefer use a uh, free disk. In this case, simulation two, disk wake, and select the disk. Next, full installation. Next, this is the name of the folder. Next, check all options. Next, and install. This installation is very fast and the advantage, the main advantage is that BlueCFD will install directly on Windows. Same completing the BlueCFD core setup wizard, okay? Select all options and finish. And once the installation is finished, three new icons will appear on our desktop. In the start menu option, you will find the OpenFOAM files. Select BlueCFD core folder. This contains the same files as the OPT folder that is created when we install OpenFOAM on Linux. For example, in OpenFOAM A, we have the tutorials folder, it's here, where you will find all the examples that this package contains. It is important to mention that BlueCFD 2020 versions uses the OpenFOAM version A package from the openfoam.org. The next is Paraview. This will be our resource builder. And finally, we have our terminal where we will develop all the operations to run our simulations. In the next video, we will run our first tutorial. Thanks for your time.